What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're going to talk about a few different horror topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Scream 7. We'll be talking about the Halloween TV show. We'll be talking about The Conjuring 4 and then Jeepers Creepers. Just a small update on that. So apparently Patrick Dempsey is, well, just a recap. Sinis not Sinistel, but Daniel RPK told us recently that Patrick hadn't signed and was still in talks. Now, of course, since then, he may have already signed. But what I was hearing is that the reason why it was probably taking a while to get him on board is because he wanted a bigger role than what was already being cooked up for Mark. Because it seems that as of now, not, well, possibly not as of now, but at the time, Gail had a bigger role than Mark, which, of course, with certain context seems a bit odd if it's really about Sydney's family. But it seems like Patrick is basically playing a similar role to what he would have had in five like the stay-at-home dad type of thing and patrick apparently wanted a bigger role and if he signed i would imagine he's gotten that but we haven't had any confirmation on anyone being signed outside of nev campbell herself also i've heard that the story may take place during a school break which is funny because it lines up with some of the material present in the core for scream 7 in which they would have been on a break during christmas now that neighbor character who is alleged to appear in Hate Sydney is going to have their house host our finale in the movie possibly as well. Gail seems to be, like I mentioned, more important to the story than Mark. So we'll see if any of this ends up being true because again, none of this is confirmed. It's just rumored. I did also hear that filming could start next year, but I'm going to stick to believing September for now until proven otherwise. And I would advise all of you do the same. Of course, if September comes and goes, then that means there is some truth to this. And of course, it's important to remember that Patrick again may have already be signed at this point, even if there is a lick of truth to him wanting a bigger role in the movie. I'm still also hearing a potential open ending is coming, ending this on a cliffhanger. Well, all I really care about at the end of the day, and I'm sure most of you care about who value and respect the character, is that if this is going to be a Sydney Prescott story, do right by her. Let her have her happy ending. Give me something of substance, something that is compelling, something that I can invest in and root for her, and not just something that feels run of the mill and overly predictable because of the ramifications we know that pertain to Sydney Prescott, in which she is not going to die on screen. So. We'll just see what happens with Scream 7 when we get more official news. Diving into the Halloween show. Sinistel put out a tweet several days ago at this point going over some Halloween TV show rumors. And this does seem to correlate with Fandom Empire's comments about how this could potentially be the Halloween Returns screenplay that we almost got years ago in TV format. Now, Halloween Returns, for those of you familiar with the story saw the story shift 10 or 12 years after the events of the 78 film, except Myers ended up killing more people that night after Loomis shot him six times. Michael Myers is on death row a few years later and relatives of victims from the 78 event went to go watch Myers be executed. He ends up escaping, of course, and wreaks havoc in a nearby town called Russellville instead of Haddonfield. Now, this format should go well if these rumored details seem to be true because Sinistel's tweets track with what Phantom Empire said they heard. Now... All of these details that Sinistealth is talking about, again, seem to be Halloween Returns in TV format. They've gone on to say that the TV series is rumored to be a star's original, but could also end up on Paramount Plus or Hulu. Michael Myers and Dr. Loomis will appear. The story could pick up immediately after the events of the original film and involve Michael Myers being sent to a maximum security prison, which again, seems like it's drawing inspiration potentially from the return screenplay. They mentioned not hearing anything about Laurie Strode, which is good to me because we don't need her. But I do want to draw more attention back to the story picking up immediately after the events of the original. That's exactly what the return script does. Yes, I get that the Halloween Kills opening does that too. But if this is all true, I could see us getting a Halloween Kills like opening for the pilot episode of this Halloween TV show. But Michael ends up killing a few more people, someone's parent or something, and then we jump years later to have the kids be grown and vengeful in the way towards Myers. Get all of that in episodic format. They're eager to see him on death row if the story takes that route, and we go from there once he escapes. Seems like they are going to pull the trigger on the Halloween Returns format, but we'll just have to wait and see. Now, The Conjuring 4 is releasing in September of 2025, September 5th to be exact. This report came out a few days ago, and like I mentioned on Monday, casting is underway since we have publicly accessible plot details running wild. Finally, the movie seems to be following the Smurl case, and that hasn't been officially confirmed, but I suspect it will soon enough. 
we have a family a haunted house five or six members to this family a haunted mirror acting as the source of the activity a church moving too slow to get involved and of course the warrens who come to save the day patrick and vera will be back for this final entry in the main series at this point i just hope that it is able to go out on a high note for these characters and it's it's been quite the pleasure honestly to see this universe grow over the years because i was one of the people i'm sure as many of you were in theaters back in 2013 during that summer when the original came out very good movie very good theatrical experience james wan gave us a very a very special horror film that summer of 2013 and while the universe does has a lot of fast food horror in it these main conjuring films have always been solid or great at best so i hope the fourth film can send them out on a high note now the last thing i'm going to talk about here is going to be related to the jeepers creepers franchise and its creator so what i've recently learned and this could potentially tie into the ongoing lawsuit that's been spawned from the fourth film being produced in in an alleged inaccurate way the creator still has rights to some degree allegedly not in the way that you would think these are rights that i think I could see other creators having rights to such as the fact that notice how we keep seeing Don Mancini always in the chair when it comes to Chucky. But of course, Universal owns Chucky. I don't think Don owns the IP. Universal does. So what I think is going on with Victor and what I've heard is that allegedly he has the right of first refusal so he has something in place where he should be getting offered to write and direct these movies and they did not do that for the fourth film allegedly so it's possible that that's also involved in the ongoing lawsuit and that is the only rights that victor has to this ip apparently he's supposed to be offered first he's supposed to be offered first the ability to reject doing another project and if he says no then they can start scouting out other directors like your timos and all that other trash we got with the seventh film which is again something i could see someone like don mancini having considering he's always in the chair when it comes to these chucky projects but universal is the one who is the head honcho and all of this stuff they're the boss not don mancini so i could see don mancini possibly having like a first refusal where he has to be offered to write and direct and if he says no then they can go get someone else but don of course is always going to say yes that's apparently the rights that victor has to jeepers and they apparently broke that as well going into this fourth movie don't know if that's true but we'll have to wait and see if we get any more updates about jeepers creepers going forward let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video